Hello guys, me Carla, this is AK Happy Carla 9 and today I'm going to talk about a summary race of the Toyota 500 from Darlington Raceway. So, let's begin. So, so because of the top 20 from the last race at Darlington from last Sunday, I believe, was inverted. It was Ryan Priest that took the pole position. However, he didn't stay there long. And then a, several laps later, he just blew up and he had to go home. So that wasn't much of a surprise. But the surprise was the Fords. They were fast, I'm telling you. Joey Logano, Clint Boyer, those were the, like the perennial contenders to lead laps eventually. So they did a lot of the leading. And don't forget Brad Keselowski later on because I had an onboard camera of him like thinking he was going to win the race. But the rain just happened to come at the wrong place at the wrong time for him to capitalize on it. So, so on my NASCAR app, I kind of recorded some of the more important keynotes of the race and where you're gonna see in it when I record are the the turn cam where in turn four all the cars are gonna zoom by and in packs and I kind of believe that was the best in race onboard cam not onboard but in race camera and then uh, let's see the battle cam. I that was the one I chose because I wanted to see the best battles and the lap after lap, knowing whoever's gonna battle for a win, top five, top ten. I mean, I was having a blast watching on my NASCAR app on my iPhone, so. So I don't know every caution that went on, but there were several early on. So, but later in the race, Clint Boyer spun after Kyle Busch kinda put the pressure on him, and it ended his uh, not night, I believe. But he did continue on with the race. So, so let me try to remember. I won one hundred. Nothing happened. Cars kept wrecking. Lap 100 to 150, mm, I would say. Yeah. Stage 1 and 2 were basically won by Clint Boyer, anyways. So he had a fast car. Despite what I said, he just spun on on his own. So let's go on to the ending stages of the race. When, let's see. Trying to remember the highlights. Let's see. There was a time where all the leaders were making the green flag pit stops, and then only Brandon Keselowski and Brandon Poole, I believe, stayed out. Yeah, they were the guys on the that were on the lead lap, I believe. So they were in front. They made their green their. Pit stops under caution, and yeah, Brandon Poole just got was a moving chicane. So let's see. Oops, I may have not recorded this, but I heard on MR and radio that Chase Elliott got hooked by Kyle Busch, and because of YouTube's FCC guideline policies, I'm not gonna. Post it on YouTube because, yeah, you know what happened. You've seen it through Facebook and YouTube today. Just idiotic comments like that and, or people just thinking racing's racing. And if you're doing it in real life versus the virtual world, well, they're, they're going to know what you did to the guy paying damages to your 
car, you know? And so that was the final caution, and the rains came, and Denny Hamlin actually won the race. During the ninth win of his career, tying him with Matt Kenseth and Fonny Flock, so, or Tim Flock, I don't know, <laughs> one of the Flock brothers. So, let's see how long it took. Yeah, five minutes. That was a five minute summary of that race. It was 208 laps, 20 laps to the scheduled distance, and I thought it was a boring race because of all these cautions, brief cautions, but things settled in once green flag pit stops were around the, I forgot, 150 to 175, okay. somewhere around that range, but I think it was an okay race. But it could be better once Charlotte comes around with these double headers with the Coke 600 and then the, I forgot how many kilometers, 500 kilometers? Yeah. You better watch out. Because I think Denny Hamlin got this championship in the bag that he wanted to make up after his one of his um, tire changers like put too much tape on the front grill. Come on, guys. How are they going to win a championship if you're going to overheat the radiator, man? You're going to make him spend another year trying to chase for another championship. And now, he has to do it at a different track. Not Homestead. It's Phoenix, you know? So. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the race. So, if you guys want to see... Some of the highlights I recorded from my NASCAR app. You can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So, I make a happy Carla 9 and enjoy your evenings. Peace.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video clip right now. So if you're new to the YouTube community for my channel, Happy Carla 9, you can click on the bell button to subscribe to my new content each week. Like my video with the thumb button or the thumbs up button. And, or you can just drop a comment below the description below. So, I'm happy Carla 9, and you all have a great day. Goodbye. Peace out.